Embrace the magic. Hello. So, ever since I started playing BG3, I've been very curious about the ice cubes monks can create. Well, of the four elements. But the biggest problem the ice cubes have is that they only last 10 turns, and there's only so many you can make with one character. But what if you have all your characters as waterbenders, and each one working towards creating a majestic ice tower. So in order to do this, I had to turn on turn-based. So I would calculate exactly how many turns I would have left. And then there's still a surprise at the end after I create the ice tower. So we're gonna speed up things a little here until we reach around turn eight maybe. Okay, by around this time, the ice tower is pretty big and I don't want to waste any more turns, so I decide to use a few barrels and crates. However, I couldn't stack more of them. I don't know if there was like a height ceiling of some sort that's invisible. And then, of course, I had to become an owlbear to try out what has been uh, the latest craze on reddit and other places and so I became an enlarged albeer to try and smash this bugbeer into pieces So, how much damage does an owlbear weighing 5,005 kilos uh, create? And apparently, it's 693 damage, so not bad. In some ways, this is so absurd, but it actually feels like a proper D&D game. Hmm, thoughts? Thank you for watching, fellow wizard, and may magic be with you.